I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Quickly Play Battle Lore Command. This is number 9 in the 12 Days of Quick Plays. This game is a digital version of the board game, uh, which, if you've never played it, is kind of like Memoir 44. And if you've never played that, uh, if you're old like me, once upon a time, there was a board game called Battle Masters. It's, uh, it was part of Games Workshop's sort of pre- or hammer explosion. Um, anyway, what it is, is a tactical board game, turn-based, uh, on a map, and the Battlemasters game basically had little stands of units that you moved around on a, a large uh, sort of plastic mat. This is sort of like that, only the units are smaller. It is a hex-based map, and um, it is a game that I actually had some interest in, um, the, the physical game. Uh, and then this popped up and was like a dollar something, and I was like, okay, well, let's give this a try before I, I go spending a lot of money on the miniatures, because uh, I believe it's out of print now, actually, so finding it is rather pricey. Um, but this game, well, having played this, I'm kind of glad I didn't buy the actual board game. Uh, as we'll see. Now, this is not just a straight uh, sort of tactical war game. It's, it's not really like a Warhammer style game. It is, uh, well, you'll see. There's a, there's a few quirks here. We're just going to go straight into a multiplayer game versus the CPU. Now, I am playing with uh, some DLC to unlock a second faction, which I find ridiculous because why the hell would you not have this just as a regular part of the game? Anyway, we'll be starting on the first map, the Grey Gate, and all we have to do is basically destroy enough enemy units to earn 10 points. It's a pretty simple and pretty standard sort of, uh, sort of battle scenario. start at the Grey Gate, in a little township here. So the board has lanes. There's the center lane, left lane, and right lane, and this becomes important for your, <clears throat> well, for your, uh, your tactical and uh, strategic turns. Um, I guess I'm going to have 50 coins, or 50 points worth, of units that I get to choose. Now, I have played the campaign for a few missions, and the campaign is built so that you unlock a few units, figure out what they do, uh, which means that I don't really know what the other half of these do, or really how to play them. What I do know, though, from having played one multiplayer map already, is that uh, you want at least one large unit. So. I think I'll spend I think I'll spend some money on putting that in the center. We're going to need some pretty standard units as well. Um, let's actually put another one of those down over here. We'll put some archers down. Let's put some archers down there. We'll put a cavalry unit there. How much do I have left? Oh half half of them still left. Okay, let's put in a mage unit. I don't know what they do. We'll also put in uh, put in these guys here. I think they'll be pretty good for probably soaking up some hits. Uh, I think I want to keep, I really think I want to just keep loading up with uh, some of these base units. In fact, I'm probably going to have to. Um, I just don't want to get my foot soldiers too far away where they will be ineffective. Should I try some more mages? I don't know, they might be made out of paper as mages are wont to be. Um, or maybe, actually, I should get another archer unit. I think I'll get another archer unit. So now, terrain actually does matter. Uh, you will get defensive bonuses for it. Let's go ahead and load up and see what the enemy has brought. My doom, by the look of it. Uh, fortunately, it did not bring a demon. Still, these guys are the big ones that I need to concern myself with. Alright. Let's see if I remember the turn order. So, we gain some magic. Uh, this will be used for my lower powers. And now here's where the the lanes of the map come in play. Uh, I have choices here which will allow me to basically uh, choose which lane I am uh, able to activate my troops on and how many. So like we see this one here, I could activate one troop from each of the lanes. This one that's selected by default will allow me to choose two units or one unit twice 
uh, basically it's actions I guess not really units so um, and the thing is you can only use them once uh, they will get used up and then you can choose to rest your characters but that means then you can't do anything but once you rest you do uh, then you gain them all back so I have a few heroes here that also give me different things I can different bonuses that I can have on my turn uh, I can order any one unit refresh your basic commands okay that's probably good order any two units they cannot attack okay dark in the skies order three archer units and make an additional attack limited once permission so that's important to bear in mind um, I will want to wait until they get a little bit closer of course but that will actually help and I probably wanted to do oh I see a fourth one there okay um, well, let's move first because I am very vulnerable and I want to gain some positioning long before the enemy does. So let's take the best one available to me here. And uh, this is going to be my battle plan. So I'm going to get my cavalry as the only... well, that's not really true. I could maybe actually choose these guys instead. Uh, how do I deselect them? There we go. Maybe I should get these guys up first because those are going to take a little bit to get there. Um, how about we grab you? I don't really want to grab you just yet. I'll hang on to you. I'll bring my archers up to the front and then we'll bring them to kind of go over here a little bit. Yeah, they're only going to be able to get into the trees. Maybe actually I should have them come tank a little bit further up. I, I think it'll take a while for them to get to me, but those archers might be able to move within range, so it's always best, I feel, to be defensive. Uh, yeah, they're gonna... I'm gonna move these guys to the middle. I think I have more options that way, um, and then I can just sort of focus on... Well, no, you know what, let's go... Let's go one more, just for one more turn, and then I will worry about... Uh, getting them into uh, good positions here. We'll send you on to this one. Now you see that this one straddles a line and what that means is that it counts as both center and right. So actually that's a pretty good tactic if you want to be able to maximize cards that have uh, less options on them. There is no combat so now it's the CPU's turn. Alright. Their attack has increased. Okay. So what that meant right there is uh, basically a die roll. And uh, it got two hits on me and one retreat. Now, because I had a unit behind me, it showed that it said it was supported. That means that I was not going to retreat. Um, Wall of Steel. Choose one of your units. If this unit is attacked during the opponent's turn, a half. Well, I don't have enough to use my tactics anyway. So, now we have this. Uh, well, since it, it made a, an initial strike on me there, maybe I want to go for this one. Get these guys swung around into here. Yeah, let's do that one. Select a com I select that command. Okay. Um, I don't know that I can get them up too far. Let's get the mages in there. I mean, actually, this one would probably... I don't want to take my good unit in real early, because then we're going to lose a lot of health, but maybe I should. Maybe we should get some early support, because these guys are bastards. These ones are not too bad, but I'm... I'm real nervous about this. I want to keep some firepower behind. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and have these guys who are meant to be soaking up damage anyway. We will, of course, take the defensive area there. Move these guys up. I, I kind of wanted to swap them out here, but I think maybe we'll just form a little bit of a wall here. Wow, that was a screech right in everybody's ear. And that looks like that. Okay. I think we'll just go ahead and start combat there. Now, I am flying. Well, devastation. You know what? I'm going to, uh, for everybody's sake, for just a minute here, 
I'm going to maybe turn that down a little bit. Okay. So now I get a move as well. Okay, interesting. I don't want to move, so I'm just going to hang tight here. And that's two misses. That does not help. Thankfully they are immovable, otherwise I would have moved back out of cover, and they got a little bit of mana recovery for that. Which, as we can see here, they've got two abilities unlocked. I still have a movement. Interesting. So that could potentially be good to put myself here, behind them, because I do. you do get a flanking bonus. But, what is this? Play only if you have eliminated an enemy, gain three mana. Absolutely. I now have five. That unfortunately did not unlock another ability. Or I guess I can only use one? Well, whatever. Anyway. I still have the option for movement. Do I... You know, it may actually be a better choice um, to move them back into here. That kind of pulls everyone forward and keeps me... Unfortunately, that means I'm not in control of the defensive positioning. And I can't reinforce myself behind. I feel like I should just hang tight here, though. Because this will probably become a focal point. You know what? We're just going to hang tight. Defensive lore power. Okay. Choose one of your units. If this unit's attacked in your opponent's next turn, half the combat results generate as a miss. I will give that to these guys, since they've already taken a beating, and I'm expecting the CPU to maybe pick on the weak. Go on? Oh, okay. I have to manually end my turn. Alright. Yep, they're all coming towards the center. Blood sacrifice, one of your enemy opponents... Ah, okay. Oh, okay. We would have had that thing killed on the reaction turn. And they're broken? Gonna be honest, I don't really remember enough of the symbology of this game to, uh... Choose one of your units, all adjacent enemy units, immediately move one hex away. Okay, cool. Uh... That's my recovery phase there. Now, most of my units are in the central lane. But, by choosing this, I can maybe move these guys over and we could all be in the central lane. Or, I can eliminate one unit and potentially get myself in position to take on another one. When these guys attack, that's going to be really bad for me. So, maybe I should have these guys move up after all, so we can at least take some more defensive positioning and maybe break off some of these guys. These guys, I think, will be pretty easy to clear, just because they're weak. And I've got a lot of guys in reserve still. However, order three archer units, they make an additional attack. See, I need to get my archers up there. Order three infantry units, their movement increases. Order two flying units... Order two rune golems. They increase their attack by three. Order three cavalry units. See, not really terribly useful. Order any two units. They cannot attack. So I can move them out of the way or into the way or whatever. Order any one unit. Refresh all basic commands. We're not ready for that just yet. Let's take this one. So I'll be ordering those two. And I'm going to get... Do I think an archer could get in there? I'm afraid that if I get this one, he's going to block. I don't remember if units can walk through each other. But I could get my archer pointed up in there, but I, what's their range? I forget what their range is. And I'm too afraid to click on something or else it's going to confirm. Um, let's take this one to be safe. Hey. Move that one up, kind of in a nice little defensive wall there. Just enough to move up into that house. That's cool. I'm now defended. I should probably actually swap these, but we still have a little bit of forest defense. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come back. All right. Now, what do I have here? Your ordered archer units may attack any enemy 
unit on the battlefield, regardless of line of sight. That is incredible. Alternatively, what was this? Choose any one... Oh, right, that makes them run away. This is more useful to me, and it's more useful to me in that I can have them attack somebody incoming and weaken them. I could try to eliminate one, I doubt it, but I could try to weaken instead. Now, I might be able to eliminate those guys before they even get to me. I'm not super worried about them. Alternatively, I could just attack and try and eliminate some archers. Choices, choices. Um, I feel like these guys are a much, much bigger threat, but here's the thing. Do I get rid of all the weak stuff immediately so I can focus my full force on whittling these down? Because I could hold the center pretty well. Or do I try and weaken these so that these guys can match on their own and then I just take these guys and mop them up as I see fit? Because I'm starting to run out of moves. Oh boy. Killing that one, I think, uh, maybe I should kill an archer unit. I feel like those are going to be problematic for me. Alternatively, I could wipe this one out, and uh, but then I wouldn't have anything to shoot. I feel like I should weaken those guys. Okay, we're, we're going to weaken these guys, we're going to try it. I don't know how well this is going to go. Um, there we go. Uh... Well, it made him run away. Yeah, I, I feel like that's because of the enemy I went for. I feel like if I'd gone for a weaker one, I would have had a m more... Uh, why are we going to the enemy turn? Did that take over the... Oh, that's disappointing. I didn't realize that was going to take over their actual turn. to get me even though I'm flying, but we wiped him out. Definitely should have gone for two of these, I think. Valor and Vengeance. Choose one of your units. Its power is increased by two and will not retreat. Alright, now some choices. I think I'm going to shore up my defenses. So we will be taking... Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. Good. This one. I want the center one, because I want these guys to be coming up. So I'm going to want some archers in place, and we're going to try and get these mages sort of behind the wall. They're my only units of mages, right? Maybe I should have them hang out in the trees. I don't know what they're... Can I see... Can I see range? That's their movement. Attack of three, but that's just damage. Ranged three. Okay, so if I did stay here, I could still hit one of these guys as he comes around. I don't know... Are rocks passable terrain? Ha! I wouldn't imagine they would be. So that means that this guy's going to be in this range, so being here would allow me to attack that. Being here would allow me to attack any one of them a little bit better, though. I would not have a defensive bonus against those guys. I'll probably be chasing after them next. Because I can get them in here. You know what? I think I'm just going to take it and move myself here. Because I think that'll get me closer to the front lines, and I think these guys have a multitude of targets. They'll probably go for somebody else. Watch this blow up in my face. Rune Shield. Who activated that and why? How did that activate? Uh, choose one of your units, its power is increased by two, and it will not retreat during combat on your opponent's next turn. Now, I, do I have to take that? Otherwise I can just pass. I don't know that I need to do this. Because I don't know who's coming next. All of these guys are pretty much supported. I don't need to worry about them retreating, and these guys are too slow to get to me. So can I just not? I feel like I've already taken it. But let me... Ah, oh, shit. I'm afraid of wasting this. I'm, I feel like this is a... Can I escape? Nope. I can't... Because uh. if I go next turn and don't choose anybody, maybe it's just wasted. 
All right, let's pick these guys because if he does come in here, I will get pushed back. I don't think that side support counts. I think it has to be directly behind. And if nothing else, they'll be more powerful anyway. So I should have thought about that one a little bit more. I'm not really in an engagement at the moment. Hey. All right, sending some weak ones after me. That's fine. One of your opponent's blood harvester units gains pursue. That means they will push forward. I am supported by the guys behind me. They gained a little bit of mana. I'm really actually nervous by how much they're racking up. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I should really consider retreating that. I think that'll pull some units in. Alternatively, it is soaking up a lot, but I, I need him to take care of this. Because that's a lot. Your units automatically generate combat and retreat results. That's pretty powerful, actually. So do we take a one-on-one -on -one now? I could start moving these guys forward. Um, alternatively, I can maybe get... Well, I could get three units up here to start doing something. I really don't want to do that. These guys, I think I need to... Okay, we'll, we'll do this. I need to let these guys come to me, not the other way around. And I feel like... That would be within range. If I move my cavalry into the woods, that would be in range of one of these other units coming up behind me, potentially flanking me. So I think I actually just want these guys to stay here, if possible. Alternatively, just move everyone over to the right. Let's see if I can get these archers up in here. We'll shoot them. Because these guys have lost their bonus. I am tempted to see what those mages do. But I need these guys up anyway. I'm going to get these guys up. Well, you know what? These guys are weak anyway. Let's get them taking this from them, and they will automatically attack some archers. Do I pull these guys over? I think yes, because they, well, they only moved one, but I think, no, maybe they only have a movement of one, now that I think about it, because these guys only moved one as well. So I could still get this guy to come in here and maybe get a hit on this before I have to deal with them. Alternatively, I could have them do it. I think these guys will have a much better chance. I just don't want to lose them. I'm really going to need them to come in and help out. All right, let's choose it and see what see what happens here. Um, we'll move here. Hey. We'll take that house. All right. Let's see if this was a huge mistake. Now oh, they're in forest. Well, on the other hand. Uh, what is this? Ah, oh, shiza. Well, I'm gonna start losing units there. That was a... a thing. We got rid of one. They became broken, so they lost their thing. Well, this turn. Uh, that's it. That's it. I forgot they had poison arrows. That's not gonna be good for me. And I did just abandon this, now that I realize that. Yep. That was a dumb, dumb thing to do. Craving. Ah, oh, this is exactly what I was afraid was going to happen. One of your opponents has an increased... attack. Holy shit. <laughs> so, that thing, that frenzy, means that they sacrificed themselves to kill one of my guys. Oh boy. Oh boy. This was a mistake. That's good for me. It's a good thing that one happened after they took me. Uh oh. Okay, now I don't think I'm gonna get a. Uh, I'm in a bad way now. I've overextended myself. I don't have anything by way of cards at this point. So I'm either going to have these guys move around, or I'm going to have these guys move around. And I feel like I could preserve this a little bit if I have them move. But, alternatively, 
I can order archers. My archers are not so great at the moment. Order three infantry to move. I can move these guys back. That would give them a little bit of an advantage. Move them back to consolidate them. I need them to be closer for me to use this one. Alternatively, I just order one unit and then I refresh all my commands. These guys are going to get stomped by two of them. I need to do this now though. We will order you and we will have you move to the house. This might be where this falls apart. Two obscene units. If they destroy an enemy unit, they recover all their health. We need to abandon the left side now. I made them run away. Oh, yes! That's another thing, if they run into the edge of the map. That's one. Enemy lore, summon swarm. Oh, fuck. So they just summoned a couple units here. Well, more than a couple. Choose one of your ordered units, they may move to any unoccupied space on the battlefield. Alright, we got our stuff again. We're gonna have to use this one. That means you. That means... Can I maybe move this unit to go attack that? I don't know if that's going to be a good good thing or not. I do want this to maybe wipe this one out. I think we can hold that for a little bit. I'm going to want you to retreat over here. I might actually be able to swing in there and kill those guys off before... You know what? We're going to need you. Remove poison effect for two power. I mean, they've only got one left. No. But are they going to die on the next turn? What? 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 What do you mean a skip command? Oh, because I've got two here. Right, 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 right. Let's get you moved up. Alternatively, let's get you... Oh, fuck. Let's get you moved into there so that they are waiting. Or do I get... I can't move these guys. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, we're going to have to get the archers into cover. Awaiting... <laughs> these guys. You uh, can just wait right here. And you cannot go into the swarm, so we're gonna get you moved over. So I could get them up and ready, or I could get them over here to the archers, but they would be undefended. I feel like these are the bigger threats. We can definitely handle some archers. I mean, I think I think we can do it. I would much rather try and face down a group of archers at the end than a full unit of these guys at the end. So let's see what we can do here. On to combat. I have. Choose any one of your ordered units. Its powers increase by two and any magic results generate as results of attack. Uh, or... Choose one of your units, all adjacent enemy units, and immediately move one hex away. Now that's powerful as well, because that means that this guy would run and immediately die. One of them would die. I feel like that's a little bit better than an extra die roll. Let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. Select a unit. What? <sighs> what? It, and you can't undo it. Bullshit. And now I'm not going to be able to attack this guy because he's going to run away. That is that is an incredibly incredibly lame thing. No, don't skip the fucking combat phase. Well, I thought I had a sneaky there, but apparently I don't.
Mobility, now we can move the hell out of there. I think the game cheated me out of that one, to be honest. I definitely feel cheated. Poison's what got me. The house otherwise protected. Thank goodness for that. We need to take on that house next. Well, I have no more cavalry units, so that's a complete waste. So, what do we do? Do I take two centrals? Or, do I try and take one of these? Can I see my units before I commit to something here? It has a movement of two, so I can get this up into the forest. And I could also get these guys up into here. So basically I would be choosing all three of those, or I would be choosing this one and then these two to see if I could maybe wipe something out there. The alternative is choosing all of these. Now, I could move them into the forest to attack that, or I could send them out to attack that. I would be putting myself in danger of this, however. So I would be able to choose, that is the left side, I'd be able to choose, I definitely want these guys to run in here and try and smash those archers. And then maybe we can get something. Although, I, I, ooh, 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 but I could choose these to fire upon them independently. Because otherwise I'd be choosing these two to maybe try and do something there and then I'd move you in there. If I move these together, would that be enough to flank or does it have to, I think it has to be directly. I am still leaving myself very vulnerable here. I need to take the initiative against this. So I still want to kind of do this. But maybe I should just do one of these. <sighs> decisions, decisions. Let's try... Let's try this one. So I'm going to choose you. I'm going to choose you, and I think I'm going to choose these guys. I can't. Right. I have to choose the right side. Maybe I can sneak these guys around to kill off that one. Move them here. Move this one here. I alternatively could have tried to just wipe those ones out. You know, I'm not going to have much much of a chance against that, I don't think. So do I choose them first to weaken them, to soften them, or do I do this? I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess. So we'll choose them. Unfortunately, they were too weak. But I get a second strike, apparently. Double shot. That must be their special ability. <sighs> Okay. Well, even if we end up sacrificing this one, does it have to advance? I'd rather it not. Damn it. But we got him out of there anyway. Whatever good that's going to do, because he's just going to move right back in. Ooh, hey. Advantage. Let's kill off that. Come on, god damn it, that is not the result I wanted. Mobility will move you back to the center. And hopefully that'll pull him in. That is seriously like the worst result. I would much rather have this guy just miss, because now I've got this fucking thing here that can shoot me and I can't retaliate. Alright, alright. Well, 
That didn't work out so well for me. We'll have the, uh... We'll have the giant eagle go. You have exceeded your lore power limit. Choose a lore power to discard. You didn't even let me use the damn thing! Well, that one. I don't need that one. We'll pick, uh... Well, this one is effectively the same thing, so we'll choose this one. Order my troops. So one from the left side is going to be you. I may as well try and make something happen with this. Because I still think you're going to have to be over here, but maybe I can make you happen instead. And if I get this into some sort of protective area... What is the range on this again? Range 4. Now I'm kicking myself because I could have used my Dark in the Skies. Uh, will not be that one, it will be you. We will move you to take this. I will choose you to move out of the way. In fact, I'm going to move you here. And then I'm going to move you here. Okay. I want... If I can get these guys killed... Alternatively, if I can get these guys to... This one to hit... Ah, because I could run him into the wall there. See, my ch my choices here are if I attack this and kill them, which I find unlikely, then I can focus here on the archers. I don't want to use that on the archers and then not kill these guys. But I don't think these guys can handle that. But if I use you to kill them, then they don't have anything to do. But I feel like those archers, I mean, we saw what they just did to my my units here. If I can prevent a lot of that happening, but then again, these guys can just turn around and smash me, and this guy is done. So, this is the choice that they have. Alright. Should I just get rid of him, or is this a bigger threat? I feel like this is potentially a bigger threat. Now that I've got that, I have... Are you fucking kidding me? Well, thank goodness for that. Because I was about to be incredibly pissed. Okay, let's move back to this. It kind of abandons these guys, but I think they'll be fine for a turn in that house. This is going on far longer than I had expected it would. I apologize. I'm turtling a little bit more just because I'm so nervous. This could be a bad deal. Oh, you bastard. Okay. I think I will be using my... I think I'll be using my uh, archer's ability here. Excellent. Why couldn't you have done that against those ones? Alright, I'm actually, uh, well, so we got one more unit to kill then. Take aim. Order a ranged unit. Its power is increased by one. Movement, alright. Let's take you. Order three archers. They may make an additional attack. I don't want you to move. You're within plenty of range anyhow. Hey. And honestly, I don't want you to move either. The house is a better defense. I beg your pardon? What do you mean no targets in range?
range 4. Okay, well, I guess that was enough. What a goddamn mess. So, obviously, there are some uh, some nuances that I, I don't fully understand. When a card says something, it doesn't necessarily mean that's uh, what it actually does. Um, but anyway, uh, that is sort of the game, unfortunately. The, uh, the DLC, like I said, added the red faction in there, but in the actual board game, there's like four or five different factions, and so I personally feel like you're missing out on a lot from this game for no reason. I, I don't really understand why they couldn't have put the extra effort in to put in those factions. I mean, the campaign is, like I said, an actual campaign. You go through missions to unlock things, and there's one for both. But, I mean, was it really so difficult to do that? I mean, I would presume that most of the scenarios available are the same scenarios in the board game. So, you know, you've got the assets, why, why, just why? I don't really, I mean, for for less than two bucks, I can't complain too much, I guess, but I, mean, I just feel like it could have been something more. And I feel like, given the the graphical style and all that, it's probably also a mobile game. Um, the controls definitely are uh, suited for it, so maybe it was just a matter of, well, we can't make the game too big because it's got to be a mobile game, but, you know... That's, that's sort of a continuing grievance with mobile ports, is that you can just expand it when it gets to PC and make it worth actually more than what you'd pay for, like the, the dollar you'd pay on the App Store, you know what I mean? Because that that's sale price, less than two dollars. I'm pretty sure it's four ninety nine regular price, this game, but uh, yeah, like why? Why? Well, anyway, uh, that's been Battlelore. If you're into this sort of game, uh, you know, it's worth something, worth checking out. Uh, it, it definitely is a, a different feel. Um, the, you know, I, I personally don't really like the, uh, the card choice with the different lanes and all that stuff, but at the same time, it definitely adds a little bit to the strategy of the game. It's, it's going to be different. It's not like a typical war game where you just take a turn mashing all of your guys forward into the enemy and then your opponent gets a turn it, it does add a little bit to uh to the thought and the, and the thinking for you know, what am i doing this turn but what am i going to do next turn because you do run out of options rather quickly when uh, they're kind of necessary so it it's not a terrible game it's just there needs to be more to it because there's not enough to the game that's all. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next Let's Play.